Hello guys, this one are uh, the Techno Pover 2 camera and uh, the front camera. If you want to know if this camera actually get pass mark, just hang on. I will tell you later for this video. Hello guys, welcome to Mega Light channel. I want to unbox and review Techno Pover 2, one of the biggest battery phone ever. For this video, I could test them for the display performance, camera performance, battery drain test, and then charging test. The price of the phone for Nigeria is 105,000 Naira and it is equivalent to 19,126 Kenya shilling and 12,000 India rupee and 161 dollars. Inside the box, you will see the phone with the quick specification. The first of the spec is 7,000 mAh battery with 18 watt flash charge, the Helio G85 processor, 6.9 inch full HD plus dot in display with 180 hertz touch sampling rate. The last spec na 48 megapixel artificial intelligence quad camera. Next inside the box na the warranty card, transparent pouch, charger, USB type C cable, earpiece and SIM injector. The display big I keep on side by side with this Vivo Y33 S and the big Passam. Even come on 18 eye screen na 6.6 inch when this one be 6.9 inch and still big Passam. The big battery of the phone they are amazing. 7000 mAh battery na very big deal at least for now. Well I don't know how long it take the battery to charge so I go plug on for 20 minutes and see how fast it go charge. So I set the timer. Check the battery percentage, na 65%, and then I can plug them. So make we talk about something else as the phone they charge. Later, I go come back and check them and show you how fast they charge. As we they wait for the phone, I beg, use this opportunity to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment too. If you subscribe now, you go dream say you they shop fried rice and chicken this night. If you not subscribe, Mosquito will bite you for night. The front camera of this phone is 8 megapixel and get flashlight for the front too. For right, you will see the volume button with the power button when still be the fingerprint sensor. Top of the phone DMT, while the left side of the phone carry the same house. For bottom, na the earpiece jack, charging port and microphone DDA. The phone takes style heavy, but it is understandable. The battery big. Back of the phone future 48 megapixel camera with flashlight. Again, about the display, what you they get with this phone na 1080 by 2460 pixel resolution with 180 hertz touch sampling rate. Even Camon 18 i come with only 19 hertz refresh rate. If this phone gets times two of Camon 18 own, then a good deal with the display. The screen no they freeze or hang as some people claim. It they run smooth and I even prefer them to the Vivo Y33s own. As for the phone, it's not too bad for phones of this range. The Type-C charging port plus the fingerprint sensor when they decide of the phone make the phone they classy and easy to unlock. About the design comfort, I would say it's not too comfortable like that because as the phone heavy, if you want to make a call with them, your hand will pain you as you hold the phone for your ear. Make I try some random things with the phone. Then I try the fingerprint sensor and see how it will respond. Every time I unlock the phone, it will respond on time. No issue here. The FM radio of the phone, they work without earpiece. I like this feature of the phone because I did like listening to radio well well. The last thing when I test now the recorder, I just won't shake for sound quality. Hello, 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 testing, testing the microphone. One, two, three, testing, testing, testing the microphone. Can you hear me? Hello, 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 testing, testing the microphone. One, two, three, testing, testing, testing the microphone. Can you hear me? Though the sound no bad, but the speaker volume too low. You remember say I leave the phone make it charge for 20 minutes. See the time, 
it don't reach. It been there sixty five percent when I plug them. After twenty minutes now, now seventy nine percent, fourteen percent in twenty minutes. That means it will take the phone about two hours to charge from zero to hundred percent. If the battery now really seven thousand mAh, then it supposed last long. Many phones they come with 5,000 mAh battery, so I could just play game for 20 minutes and see how many battery percentage go lost. <laughs> 20 minutes game cost me less than 5%. As the screen of the phone wide, YouTube video is not going to be problem to watch, since they use 4G network. You fit enjoy browsing online all day. The storage capacity na 6 gig RAM with 128 gig ROM. Actually, now the storage capacity of this variant be that. Another variant they when get 4 gig RAM storage capacity. The phone they run on Android 11 with the HIOS version of 7.6. The back camera na 48 megapixel and it features slow motion mode. Apart from the brightness and light when you know fit control, the camera makes sense. The zooming range na 10x, unlike most techno phones when they come with 6x zooming range. The macro mode of the camera they try as you they see for this screen. And with this phone, you fit record videos in 2K, 1080p and 720p mode. What do you think? You feel spend 105,000 Naira for this phone? Tell me for the comment section for this video. I don't do the unboxing of Camon 18i and it did the right top of this video when you they watch now. The right bottom now the unboxing of Vivo Y53s. Take your time to check them out. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. See you for my next video.